Hi friends and welcome. Today we are here to watch Firefly. It is season one, episode five called Safe. And I have a very strong prediction about this one, which obviously means it's not going to go where I expect because I can never nail predictions. But this kind of feels like we're going to be talking about maybe River. I think that, you know, she's such a mystery to me still. I know that we're only five episodes in, but at the same time, I feel like she is this ongoing thread in the show where like we really have to find out more details of like what happened to her, how it happened. You know, I think we're going to have to have some river centric episodes soon to really get to the bottom of all of that. So maybe this is sort of the beginning of that. Um, I don't know, but I think that's what I'm going to stick to right now. I think the last episode was super fun. I'm really enjoying this show so far. So I think uh, we should just head into the next one. I thank you all so much for watching this with me. Thank you so much to all of my wonderful patron sponsors who helped make this video possible. And yeah, let's just do it. Let's go into the episode. Oh, okay. Flashbacks. Oh my God, if the brothers. Did I just nail the prediction? We're in trouble. Hmm. Don't you know it? We got flanked by the independent it squad, and we're never gonna make it back to our platoon. That's wrong. It's from the book, River. Wait, is that Zach Efron? Is fallacious. Oh my God, that's Zach Efron. Soft. They is were it? Using dinosaurs. Jen taught a boy. Language, young man. Sorry, Dad. Hey. It's not it's okay. A you can't just dig into me, shove twenty needles in my eyes, and ask me what I see. Won't go in. Look. Did he do that, or is she having like no flashbacks today. and no can? Running tests. Oh, he is. Tests, no shots. I'm uh, I'm just gonna give you a smoother. Yep. You know I. I well. So she's added cussing and the hurling about of things to her repertoire. She's miles above ground, and they can probably hear her down there. As soon as we unload, Damn. she can holler until our ears bleed. Although I would take it as a kindness if she didn't. Gag her if you have to. Jeez. A trade to be done. Vessels such as that don't land here unless they got something to sell. Disgusting. Be something we need. No. We take it. Oh, why did I look? I don't know why I looked. I. Sh I shouldn't have looked. That was disgusting. But that's a great way to set up villains, cause. I'm gonna have that imagery stuck in my head. So, okay, good job. Thanks, Firefly, for trauma. They walk just as easy to lead them. I like smacking them. Many souls. Cattle on the ship, three weeks, she don't go near them. Suddenly we're on Jan Ying and she's got a drive and need to commune with the beast. They were with that for three weeks? Waiting to be, but they forgot. Now they see Sky and they remember what they are. She said it makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> Come on, your sister, for a little walk. A walk? Oh. Yeah. Someplace this can't be good. Away. Don't worry. We won't leave without you. <laughs> sure. Sure. Your planet has the same five rag dolls ah, and the my same besties. wood carvings of... What is this, a duck? It's a swan. Oh. I like it. You do? Made by a person really long to see a swan. I think this would make a nice gift. Oh, for Simon. I didn't say that. <laughs> you don't do a very good job of hiding your interest. She really doesn't. You just want to take a bite out of him all over, you know? Careful. Morning, oh. you two. Onion, prairie paradise. Good God. They're asking money for this crap. Hard to believe, ain't it? Ouch. Glad you're out. Be a chance to have a little fun. Fun? I, uh, I consider this fun. It's fun being forced to the ass end of the galaxy. What's so? up? Sorry? Serenity ain't what's up. I didn't mean. Yeah, you did. He did. Well, no. Uh, Actually, I was being ironic, so in, mm. in, in the strictest sense, you I didn't... You mean is what? And if that's what you think of this life, then you can't think much of them that choose it, can you? 
Uh, I mean, I feel like they do want very different things in their lives. I feel like they have very different life views. River? That's not to say they can't still- You did not lose her. So, I mean, please tell me you didn't lose your schizophrenic sister. You can go to 25. <laughs> there well, you go. We'll be taking a loss, but you seem like clean and virtuous boys. Done. Marcus and Nathaniel Crane, you are both wanted in connection to the illegal killing of Rance Durbin. You are bound by law to stand down. I find this whole planet very uninviting. Yeah. yeah. Not very safe. Oh. Oh my god. Did she just math her way into dancing? It looked like she was like counting. Okay. Is your beef? No, sir. You're looking at the proper owners right there. I'd like to see some paper on that cabin. Oh boy. Never go smooth. How come it never goes smooth? Nobody said it was an easy life, Mal. Oh my god, is he really going for the money? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that back and forth is crazy. I feel like I'm dancing to gunshots. What happened? Oh! Oh! That's quite a lot of blood, isn't it? Just means you ain't dead. No, it's fine. Just like, Afraid put your I'm hand on it. Need a preacher. What's going on? And the doctor's not there to save them. Or can you hear me? I guess now we'll see how they may do without the doctor. Wash, get down to the infirmary. Mesh on. Gotta try to stop this bleeding. He ain't breathing. Oh! Fuck. He ain't dead. But he is bad okay. off. Now we gotta see what we can do to help him. Wash, I want you to go to town. See if you can't find that ginseng myung, the doctor. God fucking damn it. No, oh no. Found oh. you. Shit. No. That is not. No. At least it's good that she's not lost, but. Go! Okay, maybe not great because then she gets kidnapped too. Okay, at least they're together. This actually brings me comfort. It's gonna sound stupid, but. Where's the doctor? Why isn't he with you? He wasn't in town, wasn't anywhere. <laughs> Looks like maybe they got snatched. Kidnapped? I went by the sheriff's office. Seems if we had checked the posted alerts for this rock, we might have known it. Settlers up in the hills take people sometimes. Usually tradesmen and the like. And now they got themselves a doctor. Lovely. And we don't. We're going. They're leaving? Wash, get us in the air. Like, I know that he said he wasn't going to leave, and I was like, okay, sure. But I didn't actually think he was going to leave without them. I have to realize is what happened, they'll come. Um, okay. Yeah. Coming for you, you just keep moving. Shit. Oh boy. Um, not ideal circumstances. That bad. Oh, they did good. Battle you did good, Zoe. Creature. I've seen men live with a dozen holes in them this size. Look at all we got. We gotta sell the duck. Oh boy. He's like a full on commodity. Can I? Sure. He's out, though. He did this for me once. What's he doing? I cleaned it out, wrapped it up. Best I could do. I don't know. But we're headed for help. Right? Captain will come up with a plan. You sure this is where you want to be? Oh, I'm fairly certain it ain't. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are they going into the skyscrapers? Be sure to ask nicely. Oh my god, I can't believe they're... Wow. I can't believe they're going through all of that for a book. Like, I'm impressed. I know I shouldn't be, but... I got your doctor. Praise the Lord. Dorley, he'll show you what's what. What's your... So what happens to your parents? They're like Simon and uh, River. Well, mostly people heal on their own, but sometimes... Sometimes you need a doctor. Bring me light and any supplies you have. 
So is he gonna fix everybody up and they're gonna let him like leave or something? What's your business? We're a supply ship, freelance. Had an accident this morning, crewman got hurt. We need medical help. Official seals out of date, Captain Harbatkin. We ain't been through a checkpoint in a while, sir. An emergency facility, Captain. Our services aren't available simply to anyone. Okay. You're just gonna let him die? Yeah, you can't just let him die. Get this man. What is he? He's gotta be special. What does that mean? What do I not know about him? She's been through some trauma. She's recovering though. She won't get a good conversation out of Ruby, I can tell you that much. That little girl's mute. She was fine until two years ago when she stopped talking. Seems like a lovely little community of kidnappers. The law <laughs> says judge not. Sometimes life takes you places you weren't expecting to go. Life didn't bring us here. Those men did. Yeah. <laughs> you were on a transport ship, right? Taking a journey. Journeys end when and where they want to, and that's where you make your home. This isn't our home. If it isn't here, where is it? And now suddenly the ship isn't sounding so bad now, is it? River. What's wrong? River, stop freaking me out like this. River, don't. Where's the girl? I picked them. Okay. Say thank you, Simon. I took you away from there. No. I know I did. I remember everything. Oh. I remember too much. Oh. And... Some of it's made up, some of it can't be quantified, and there's secrets, and... It's okay. You gave up everything you had to find me. I'm broken. For you. You gave up everything you had. Mimi, everything I have is right here. We won't be here long. Daddy will come and take us home. Will he? I was just thinking about their parents. Mother got crazy, killed the sister. That one lived. Ruby talked to you, honey. Her voice got scared away. I don't understand. If Ruby didn't talk, how do you know? Um, uh, my sister's, she, she's very good at. <laughs> and they shall speak truths and whisper secrets and you will know them by their crafts. They... who? Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Careful. Oh boy. Um... Oh boy. I'm sorry, Dad. You know, I would never have tried to save River's life if I had known there was a dinner party at risk. Don't you dare be flippant with me. I just spent 2,000 credits to get you out of here, a door which goes on my permanent profile. Are you trying to destroy this family? I didn't realize it would be so easy. <laughs> I won't come for you again. You end up here or get mixed up in something worse. You're on your own. Damn. I will not come for you. Now, you're coming home. I love how he chooses his sister. Why are you knocking us from our beds this hour? The new doctor's sister's a witch! She is not a witch! Oh, She's shit. just a troubled girl. I'm sure that's true. I'm the patron here. Do you know what that means? Yes. Large. Since the old patron died. That's oh, right. shit. Be careful. Don't He's say too sick. much. It's getting better. You were alone in the room with him. <laughs> This girl reads minds and spins falsehoods. She's a witch and we must purge the devil from her with fire. <laughs> oh. I thought they were actually going to have a little bit of a nice time over there. I think I read that wrong. Alliance patched you up. Alliance? Uh, they let us come and they let us go. Handcart gets a second reception and send off. Shepard looks like a man of God. Tell me what really happened? I surely would. Someday I will. Okay, their parents are definitely not coming from them, so they're the Firefly. Anytime you guys want to come rescue them. Take my life for hers. That's not how it works, baby. No! Get away from her! 
Okay, go Simon. She has done nothing to you. If dies tonight, it won't be God's will that killed her. Be you. Your lunacy, your ignorance. It's not gonna stop us, Doctor. He's such a good brother. Light it. Time to go. Oh, Firefly. Okay, that's good. Well, look at this! Here's the guy that's just in the nick of time! What does that make us? Big damn hero, sir! Ain't we just? Right. Yep. We all got something that belongs to us, and we'd like it back. This is a holy cleansing. You cannot think to thwart God's will. The girl is a witch. Yeah, but she's our witch. <laughs> so cut her the hell down. Captain. Why did you come back for us? You're on my crew. Yeah, but you don't even like me. You're on my crew. Why are we still talking about this? <laughs> I love the, their little, like, family dinners. Aww. Okay, this episode was pretty crazy. Uh, oh wait, let me see if it was- It was Zac Efron! I saw his name. Wow. This was a really interesting episode because I have to say, I didn't know where things were going to go. I knew that we were going to get Simon and River back, you know, but for a second I was wondering because those people were kind of like so nice and seemed to really be in need of help that I kind of thought they were going to be able to like talk themselves like out of this situation that they were going to like, you know, help everybody there. And then at the end be like, may we please be unkidnapped. And they were going to be like, yes, thank you so much for your service. Here is the door make your way out and so this did not go where expected um i totally understand why they jumped to conclusions about river being a witch and i don't think it's that kind of show i don't think we're doing like supernatural you know i don't think she's like an actual witch but it is very interesting how she really does have a lot of information in her brain that she shouldn't and so i also want to know more about that it's good that i think she's becoming more talkative i think we're starting to get to know her better you know she's telling us like you know i do know everything it's hard to process or whatever so i think all we need to do is like give her time so i can be patient i can have time but this was an interesting storyline for them i mean from the beginning you know simon of course felt like it was not a good idea he manifested the hell out of that and then you know there was so much irony this episode of like, I don't think we should go out. And then Mal's like, go out. I'm not going to abandon you. And then they go out. Something bad happens and Mal abandons them. <laughs> but of course, he did come back and pick them up. I'm still trying to understand exactly like why he did that. If there is a sort of selfish reason behind it, you know, because he does say you're part of the crew. Agreed. And I do think that's probably why he came back for them. But at the same time, I feel like Mal sometimes I read him as too much of a good guy. And so I'm afraid that at some point he's going to like make some decisions that I'm like, wait, a good guy wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Because I think he's a little bit more like in the middle. And I think I end up seeing him too much as just the good guy sometimes. And I know that he's like a criminal, so I shouldn't. So I'm just trying to think like, are there any other reasons? But I, I do think it was because they're a part of the crew. And I love it. I thought it was so cute. Um, the, the shepherd, you know, book getting hit this episode definitely interesting because I figured he was probably going to pull through because by now I feel like I know the characters who are in the intro so I don't think they're going to mess with that but what I'm most intrigued about is what his little like ID thing he said or whatever the hell that they did you know there's definitely I think maybe he's like bigger than we give him credit for I think maybe he um hold some sort of position of power that we're not aware of or something i don't know does he come from like money or something like I, there's something about him that you know they clearly said like oh we're not gonna talk about it yet so i'm like okay i'm gonna wait but i think we're gonna get some answers about that so i'm curious to know and uh there was somebody else i was gonna talk about who was i gonna talk about um i mean i do want to talk about simon and kaylee for a sec just because it's so sweet how much she like 
cares for him and kind of like is into him. But then their talk kind of really hurts me in the beginning of the episode because you can tell that they're just not on the same page. You know, for Kaylee, this is her life. This is what she likes to do. This is where she feels like home. And for Simon, it's kind of just like an in-between place. And I don't think he has the same levels of like respect for the ship as she does. And to her, I think that's a deal breaker. I think that's a really big deal. But I think it's something we can get past especially in the end of the episode and with them coming back you know I mean I guess they had no other options but there was a point where you know staying there was an option you know in this little hell of a place that they found you know it was an option for them to settle down there and and, you know he didn't want it 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 wasn't going to be home probably because kidnapping took them there but still you know the fact that he comes back to Firefly regardless of what other options he had or didn't have I think to me shows that he's starting to feel like that is home and I think his feelings on the ship are changing even if he doesn't like acknowledge it or even realize it yet so I still think there's potential there I think like at this point in their like relationship I don't think they would be able to be together because that is a pretty big gap in between the way that they see life but I feel like Simon can change his mind and probably will and so maybe they can still have something I don't know but Kaylee and Inara were very MIA this episode I don't think my shirt worked the mojo because I feel like I barely saw Inara but the scenes that we did see were her and Kaylee so I can't complain because I think they're my favorite like friendship in the show and I really like the scenes of them together because I'm just uh, I wish that this show was like nowadays because then I was gonna have so much hope about them actually being a couple but I really really don't think that's where they're going there but I cannot help but queer bait myself you know into wishing for it but anyways also interesting to see a little bit of Simon and River's parents because I mean obviously we sort of knew they come from money so it's interesting to see when they got away from that and why they can't rely on that anymore and It did make my respect for Simon grow so much to see how much he cares for his sister and the lengths at which he would go to care for her and protect her and save her and how he really knows her better than anybody else. So to me, that was adorable. That like sibling relationship, willing to put your life on the line. Like, God damn it. I have two sisters. I don't know if they would do that for me. I honestly don't know. Like that was big. And so I really like it. I think it was an interesting episode. I think we had to focus a little bit on Simon and River, I think. It makes sense because, you know, we're trying to get more backstory there. So I think that having these flashbacks really works. Uh, I think the only characters that I'm like really waiting for us to explore right now. Well, Jane, of course. But I feel like we got to have a Wash and uh, Zoe centric episode. I'm like waiting for the Zoe centric episode since I started the show. And at this point, I feel like we focused enough on all the rest where I can wait for that Zoe centric episode like soon I feel like it's got to happen but I don't know uh it was another really good episode though I like um how western it felt too at some point because I just feel like it's so different to have a western vibe on a show that's also such Battlestar Galactica like space vibes at the same time they really innovated there feels very different very fresh very new But anyways, let's read the title. Oops, sorry, microphone. Let's read the title of the next episode. Um, Because we will. Our Mrs. Reynolds. Or Reynolds. I don't know how to say that. Is it Reynolds? I feel like that's how Americans would say it, right? Ignore the why. Anyways, that's not important. Okay. She is going to be um, a stuffed animal that River owns. And she's going to be in danger. Wonderful prediction. No, honestly, I have no predictions. Um, Yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to have to stop hitting the microphone. I'm going to have to stick to thinking that we're going to focus on Zoe and Wash for a little bit. Just because I think we're at that point where everybody's sort of getting a little bit of, like, I feel like every character is sort of getting their episode at this point, And I don't think we've hit that spot for Zoe or Wash yet. And I don't think we have for Jane either. But I just, I want that Gina Torres-centric episode so badly that I'm manifesting the hell out of it. So I guess we're going to have to watch. We're going to have to find out who Mrs. Reynolds is next episode. So thank you all so much for being here with me, for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. So stay safe. Big hugs, lots of love, and bye!